The Morning Mess. Yes. With Joey Boy, Lady La, and Anish. Live. Live. 101.5. Good morning. It's Live 101.5. Going to get into a cheating situation uh, in a few minutes. It's your Morning Mess, Joey Boy. I'm Lady La. And it's Anish. Let's do this uh, staycation setup, y'all. Okay. So, obviously, we've been talking about an epidemic in the Valley of the Sun of <sighs> cheating. Are we familiar with this? Unfortunately. So, we have Jay from Chandler on the line. Jay, what's going on with you and, uh, I guess, your bae? Um, well, I started seeing my boyfriend, Elliot, in January. Mm-hmm. I actually met in Vegas for New Year's. Oh, nice. So, what happened, Vegas? Uh, ended up coming home, huh, player? Hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of crazy. I mean, he ended up living in the Valley, too. Um, and, I mean, it was just sort of like a serendipitous thing. And um, This fool going- said serendipitous. I know. Great word you said. <laughs> ah, you're I so love fancy. That. But, he, you know, he's a smart guy and, like, really ambitious. I really like him. Everything has been going really well. But lately, his phone has been just totally blowing up. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. goodness. Is that, it, it, am I uh, detecting maybe the sound of shame? Um, if you're talking about Grinder, then yeah. Oh, oh God. No. You're, no, Grinder you're no. notifications. Nope. No. At least I think it is. So, so Now, I for ask- the people listening, Jay and Anisha, obviously, you know, what is what exactly is Grinder? So Grinder is a, we can call it a social networking app. Uh-huh. Um, it's used by gay men to link up with each other uh, based on their location. And Anish, you've used Grinder. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, Jay. Okay, go ahead. So I asked him about it. You know, I said, you know, who's hitting you up? And he told me, oh, you know, you're making things up in your head and this and that. And just makes me sound like kind of the crazy. crazy oh, that's definitely but, a red flag. Like someone's phone blowing up all the time. And when they didn't used to do that, that's a red flag. Mm-hmm. So you're smart. I agree with you. And that's exactly what I thought. So later that day, you know, he was in the shower and I might have snuck a little. Oh, no. Oh, nah, my no, goodness. Might. No. <laughs> Just tell it like it is. You looked at his phone. Did you hack into it, or what happened? Well, the thing was, like, you know, he changed the passcode on his phone, which is super shady. So, I mean, because we've always had each other's passcodes. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting deja vu right now. Deja vu? <laughs> literally You've been through this, moment. Anish? This is very <laughs> Deja vu is the best ever. Unfortunately, we don't want to laugh. We don't want to oh, laugh, Jay. No. But that was that was. This situation funny. is not funny, but that was. You listen to the show. You know we do this thing called the staycation setup. We're gonna have a uh, part of your community here, Anish. You're gonna get on the line and call his boyfriend. Yes. Off uh, from a romantic getaway at our Aurora Hotel. Obviously, it's made up, and uh, we're gonna offer him the weekend, and we're gonna ask him who his guest is. Hopefully, he says you, Jay. Okay, I hope so. So uh, do I. Oof, girl. I appreciate uh-uh. you guys helping me out. No, absolutely. Uh, hold on right there. We're going to get his number from you. We're going to give him a call. Uh, his name is Elliot, right? Yes. All right, we're going to call Elliot up next. Don't move if you want to mess with another staycation setup. All right, back to in the middle of a staycation setup on Live 101.5. It's your morning mess. Now, we have Jay on the line, but we're going to yep. see if his uh, boyfriend, Elliot, is cheating on him after yeah. we offer him a weekend staycation, a romantic one at that. <laughs> Hopefully, he picks his own boyfriend to go. Yeah, uh, better. Anish is on you. Hello? Hello, this is Jonathan. Is Elliot available? Speaking. What is this regarding? Oh, hi, Elliot. I'm, I'm actually calling on behalf of the Aurora Hotel, and uh, we are happy to say that you are the winner of our romantic weekend getaway. Um, well, I didn't enter anything, so I don't really know how I won something. I mean, I didn't give out my number. Oh, uh, just hold on one second for me. You know, we're a new hotel, and we happen to be offering couples a weekend in our penthouse suite. Um, we're even including a honeymoon package with that. It's not going to be of any charge to you, and the reason that we're picking you is because we've noticed you have a significant presence on social media. Just from, like, Instagramming and tweeting about, like, going out? Yeah, you know, we really want to tap into your audience and see if you can spread the word about our hotel. And I think that this could be a really good opportunity for you to get away with your special one and enjoy the perks of our hotel. Um, okay, so do I just need to, like, tweet about this or take a Instagram and, I don't know, hashtag something? I mean, I don't know, like, I guess. I'll, I mean, if this is free... Yeah, no, it is. And we're going to give you all that information, but I want to start off, you know, making sure we get all of the contact info on who you want to bring with you. Okay, no, you want, like, info, but I don't need, like, a credit card, right? No, 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 no. Oh, no, there's no credit cards necessary. This is all complimentary, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, 
so um, I don't really know who I want to bring because uh, this is like really quick. So if I like change it, like, will you put down Armando for now? And then I guess, do you want like his phone number or, I mean, actually, because I don't know if I'm going to change it or not. You want us to like call you back? Or I could call you back, whatever, you know, is easiest. I mean, I don't know what dates or anything. Nah, we don't need to call him back. Now, listen, um, who is Armando? (laughs) I was not expecting him to say that. Hello? Yeah, uh, good morning, uh, Elliot. It's Joey Boy with Lady La and Anish. Okay. And you're busted. You're live on the radio right now, just so you know. And What is going on? What's going on? Jay? Who the hell is Armando? Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, Ellie, it's me. You're, do you remember me, Jay? Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Yes. What is uh, what is yeah. going on? What do you mean we're on the radio right now? Am I just another exotic boy to you? Or are, you, are you, I mean, am I the second choice, the third choice? Which one is it? Ooh. Okay, I don't know if you've seen the news, but I know, like, we got the right to vote and everything in every 50 states. That doesn't mean oh. that we're getting married, okay? Oh. We go to the courthouse. <laughs> You're blowing me up on the radio right now, and you want me to be civil? That's the dumbest Uh -uh. shit I've ever heard. What do you you know? This this shows how shady you are. The fact that you're calling, like, setting up some elaborate scheme on the radio. So uh, I don't know if you, like, I I might text you later. Okay? Thanks. Bye. What? Oh my. Wow. Wow. Whoa. We just just lost Elliot. Yeah. Jay. Well. What? This guy is obviously not into you like you are into him. I'm so over him right now. This is ridiculous. Do you know who Armando is? I have no idea who Armando is. Probably some grinder boy. <laughs> right. Well, grinder exotic boy. Clearly. L- listen, listen. You stay on the line here. I'm going to have a little chit chat with you. Look off at Nisha to holler. You saw oh that boy. Gosh. You saw that boy. Look oh at Nisha. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm I trying can't. to be helpful, guys. Is oh that what we're calling it? Cannot. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> Hold on right there. Anish wants to talk to you. All right? Okay. The Morning Mess. Yes. With Joey Boy, Lady La, and Anish. Live. Live. 101.5.